Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here and happy Sunday to you. Okay guys, I know we do our weekly read on Mondays and we're not going to do a weekly read. Um, following my own weekend read, I've been going through cleaning out old junk and going through old stuff. Clearing out the old energy so I can welcome in the new energy. Uh, and I'm like taking a break right this moment and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking it's quiet and honestly I don't know if y'all feel this it's not just quiet it's too quiet it's too quiet y'all my hair was up that's why it looks so completely wild right now okay so anyway I'm thinking it's too quiet maybe I need to do a reading and just see what's up what comes up so I figure if I'm going to do it for me, we might as well do it for everybody, right? So, this reading is about what is up. What do we need to know? It's just too quiet. Okay, we got some jumpers. Let's start with some oracles. It says that we're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. Run the risk of failure. Keep your focus on your goals. And don't overcomplicate things. Also see the letter C. Someone needing your understanding. Uh, your energy work and your meditation, your yoga, your Reiki. Intensity and love. Hi there, how are you? And then we have, if someone views you as a warrior, like you're like totally indestructible, okay? And don't jump to conclusions. You don't have the whole story. Maintain your individuality. Also, let's look for messages from the ancestors. Could come in the form of cardinals or may appear in your dreams. Southern Indiana and Detroit, Michigan. How are y'all? Virginia here. All right, let's see. What do we have coming up? What do we need to know? Why is it so quiet? Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Magic. Ooh, moonlight magic. Magic. Magical times. Growth. Time to grow. Time to expand. This implicates big changes here, okay? Could be doing some deja vu. We got the um, Stonehenge here. Okay. Uh, be generous. Remember your generosity. There's purity. Freedom. The need for freedom. Signs are unicorns and eagles. Need for freedom. And dragonflies, big positive changes. Time frame is right now. Remain playful. Everything has a natural flow. And trust overall, trust where you're being led. Some of you are working with your crystals and all. I did that yesterday, actually. All right, so let's just get into this and just let's just do a basic tarot reading. We're not going to do a full reading like we usually do. Just it's quiet, and I want to know why. Hello, South Carolina. Guys, if you're coming in to a collective read with a personal question, put it out there. Let's see if Spirit answers it. And if not, please visit my website at JackieTomlin.com. i got lots of options over there for readings, okay? All right, let's see what we got coming up. What do we need to know? Okay, we start with the Ace of Cups. A little bit of a delay here. Um, you be getting a love. That's to be the love of a significant other as well as the love of family and or friends. Three of Swords. Three's a crowd. Third person. I want advice and or opinion. Someone sticking their nose in your business. And we have the lovers. Yep, yeah, there's intensity. My singles and my couples. Intensity and love. Okay, what else we got going on? 
And we're going to clarify this too. Knight of Swords, rushing in, quick moving. What is rushing in? The Pope, which is kind of like an emperor. So a dominant, prominent person, like an alpha. And I am going to throw out a male. There is a male here. I uh, Also specifically here, thank you. Thank you so much. Also specifically hear the word Sam. That could be short for Samuel, Samantha. But I hear the word Sam. Mama Jess, thank you, dear. And we have the Ace of Swords. Someone you're currently not speaking to. Getting ready to contact you. The color purple. Y'all wear purple tomorrow? Purple to work? Something like that. Hey, Lishi. Thank you, dear. Okay. What else we got going on here? Ah, Patience problem. Patience, my dear friends. Patience. Who is that? Tracy? Tracy, thank you. Alrighty. What else we got going with us? We have the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Residential moves, movement of furniture. <laughs> Some people relocating from one state to the other. Hint, hint, one of them's in the room. You know, just saying. Movement is here at home. And let's see, what else do we have? We have, ooh, the two of cups, date night, get together, a little romance brewing here. Good long talks with one another. Someone you're currently not speaking to, this is coming right down the line. With the lover, someone you're currently not speaking to and the reviving of a romance. Okay, reviving means you have been involved with this person before. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into this. We're going to call this reading the calm before the storm because I'm here to tell y'all it's too quiet. It's too quiet. <laughs> too quiet. All right, let's get into the new beginning of love. Everything feels good, though. Energies feel good, okay? I want to throw that out there. Anyone off tomorrow? Tomorrow's Veterans Day. New beginning in love. We have the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. Part of this wish fulfillment is bringing in stability. Oh, enjoy your day off. Okay. And we have the Six of Swords says, you are leaving the troubled waters. You are heading off into the calm. You're headed somewhere better. Very nice parade tomorrow. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. No matter what you do. You're kind of untouchable. Does that make sense? All right, how about this Three of Swords, this unwanted person in your business? Eight of Pentacles. You could work with this person, to be honest with you. This is a developing situation, so you know. So stay tuned. Um, Eight of Pentacles coming in with some new money. Now, this could be something in addition to your paycheck, like a raise, a bonus check, commission check. Maybe you're selling something. Time frame is right now. Right now. What if I told you that you're going to get what you desire right now? I like that. And we have the sun, as in the sun shines brightly in all that you do. Optimism, success, vitality. Look, I want to throw out there, I also mentioned something about a healthcare warning, and I got three of y'all out sick today on the sofa and in the, in the bed. Y'all, it's the egg season. Be mindful, okay? The lover's card comes with the Wheel of Fortune. Talks about that wheel. Well, that wheel is about to turn in your favor. 
with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you are going to make some long-term financial plans or financial goals. Perhaps you're writing down a budget. You're going to get some kind of recognition, and it could be that you're working on some teamwork. What do they say? Teamwork makes the dream work. Ace of Swords, over the Ace of Swords, the clarity, the focus, the breakthrough, the person that you're not speaking to, contacting you. Maybe that is the calm before the storm that I'm feeling. And then we have the Knight of Swords. What else is rushing in? Huh, loss of sleep. Loss of sleep. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. The loss of sleep is rushing in. I know, right? With that, we have the Queen of Cups. Now, this is reminding you to open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Put yourself in the other person's shoes to show some empathy here. Scorpio energy. Scorpio may resonate with you. Some of you have entered your safety zone. Judgment. Be careful not to pass judgment on someone. You're going to be wrong if you do. What did it say in the beginning? Don't overcomplicate things. Don't. All right. What do we have here on the poop? That alpha person. The ten of cups. This is someone who wants to offer you forever. They want to offer you wish fulfillment. They want to give you the world. Knight of Pentacles. Long term finances. Now what this means is. There is money in the pipeline. You can see it. You're going to hear about it. It's just. You can't put your hand on it right now. Okay. It's coming. And you have the Ten of Swords that says you're surrounded by healing energy. This is emotional as well as physical. Two tens together just as powerful as if I pulled the Death card energy. Okay. Ace of Swords. As I said, just a quick read to hold us off until tomorrow. That person that's not contacting you may wear a uniform. Justice. The truth coming out. Clarity. Confirmation of what you suspected. Dealing with someone in authority. Eight of Swords. No one's holding you back but you. You've got to push yourself forward at this point in time. Life will pass you by if you don't. And the world is your oyster. Y'all, you got the world. You got the sun. Things are looking good, good, good. Nosy cat. Excuse you. Really, Gypsy? Come here. Say hello. Say hi, everybody. Wanting my attention is what she's doing. Okay. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. The Patience Problems. Ooh, someone from the past coming in. This is what you're getting ready to jump in with both feet and she's back. <laughs> yes, so what you're going to jump into with both feet is someone from the past. Okay? Would you stop, honey? We will play soon. Come on. Don't knock my camera over. Get down. Get down. Here. Help you. There you go. All right, so Queen of Wands says you guys are feeling the, the glow up that you're about to come into. You're about to treat yourself. She does want my attention. <laughs> and we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands says seven of cups. Seven of Cups says, don't make any hasteful decisions because you got options. And here she comes again. Get down. The time change has messed up her eating schedule. Does that make sense? 
So now when it starts getting dark, she thinks it's time to eat. So options. You've got options. Keep your options open. Page of Wands. You've got a messenger card coming in. Sagittarius Energy. Which is the message of abundance. Health, wealth, family, friends. What did I tell you? You got the world and the sun on your side. You got it all going on. Thank you, Lee. She's a mess. Two of Cups, the date night. This person is very creative. They may have something to do with the arts. Okay? Maybe it's a musician or something. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Someone wants to talk to you about a good business deal. Somebody may make you a job offer. Okay, we'll throw that out there. And we have the Two of Cups on top of the Two of Cups. I cannot make this up. Date night is sooner than later. And your bonus card is the Knight of Wands, which is movement on the high front again. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Could be the psychic arts. Absolutely. Definite movement on the home front. Okay, that's what I got for y'all. Let's give it three more of just what we should know. I'm telling y'all, just think it's too quiet. Too quiet. What do we need to know in three cards? Wrap it up in three cards. What comes out? What we really need to know. Okay, so we had those jump. I think it's more than three, but since we want to know what we need to know, let's find out. What we need to know. There's money in addition to. There's that uh, Eight of Pentacles. There's an Empress energy here. Someone throwing this, viewing you as the Empress above the King and the Queens. Now, you have the Pope here, too. So it's very possible it's letting you know there's a power couple here. You need to know there is a new job opportunity here at hand, and that Capricorn is coming out again. The calm before the storm did not tell you. This is what I would name this reading. The calm before the storm is someone from your past, someone you are not speaking to, is about to contact you, and guess what happens? It puts you on the right path. Well, there you have it. All right, gang. That's what I have for you today. Like I said, you know, tomorrow is always the weekly read, and uh, I'll see y'all then. I was just curious as to what was up, and figured if I wanted to know what was up, y'all probably did want to know what was up as well. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, guys, don't forget, if you're seeking a personal reading, hit me up on my website at JackieTomlin.com. And right now, energy is feeling really good, and I'm looking forward to see what we got coming up tomorrow in the weekly read. See y'all later. Have a great afternoon. Bye.